Hey guys, I'm Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try the color chemistry set by Crayola. I got this on sale at Michael's. It says adult supervision recommended. I am an adult, so we're good there. Um, it's pretty heavy. It comes with a lot of stuff. It says that there's instructions for 50 experiments. So it comes with this booklet of all the experiments that you can do. Uh, I'm just gonna do whatever ones I think are interesting. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start with bouncing colored bubbles. So it comes with the stuff in the kit, but you also sometimes need like salt or water or cooking oil or disposable plates. So have that prepared. And if you don't know what a name of something is, like if you don't know what a pipette is, on the back here, it tells you exactly what everything is and shows you a picture to match. Pour water into the cylinder up to the 20 mark. Okay, pour oil to the 30 ml mark. Okay, now all you do is add these fizzy tabs and see what happens. Okay, two. There's like a mini tornado happening in here. And the bubbles are indeed dancing. So I would say that's pretty cool. That took all of like 60 seconds to do. Do I wait? Does something else happen? Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. So the erupting volcano seems like the popular one that's in the commercial. So I think I should try that one. Okay, first you take this model magic and you make a volcano. Okay, now it says fill the beaker halfway. Done. Okay, so now I'm painting the volcano with these little inks. So far, this is fun. I'm into this. I'm not a kid, I'm an adult, and I'm enjoying myself, so here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little painting. Ooh, that's a really pretty pink, really pigmenty. And then we'll do blue. Do, 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 do. So I'm dropping two fizzy tabs into the volcano. There's already one in there, so this is two. Okay, so now I'm adding the water and I guess it's gonna erupt. This is fun. Okay. Ah! Definitely cool. Definitely a little bit anticlimactic. But it's all right. All right, well, there, there you have it. Science, my friends. So the question for this experiment is, can we separate salt from water using the oil as a shield? And what happens if we add a fizzy tab in the mix? This one reminds me of a lava lamp and it sure is cool looking. Next I'm gonna try slime. I have never touched slime. I have never made slime. I have never used a slime kit. This is my very first slime experience. Everything you need for this one comes in the kit. First, I'm taking off slime part B and replacing it with a nozzle cap. So first I'm filling the slime part A up to the 20 mark. Then you squirt some slime part B up to the 25. Okay, so it says add two to four drops. 
I'm gonna do four. Okay, using your pipette, stir the mixture. It's thickening. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Very into this one. Okay, now it says to peel your slime out of the beaker and see how it feels. It's really sticky. Um, yeah. <laughs> why do kids like this? Just like, why is this fun? I'd love to know. On to the next. So it says to add two to three fizzy tabs onto the plate. And then I am mixing one third cup of cornstarch into a small bowl. I'm adding water to mix it together until all the clumps are out. And then I'm just pouring this mixture all over my plate and seeing what happens. So this experiment is definitely eye candy, visually pleasing. This feels very therapeutic and I feel like I could do it for about a half an hour if I wanted to. Okay, now I wanna do tornado in a bottle. So it says fill one bottle, um, three fourths. Now I have to add Eight drops of ink. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you add a little bit of soap to the same bottle. One, two, three. So now it looks like we just duct tape the bottles together. Okay, so now it says flip the bottle over and swirl in a circular motion. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like there's a leak, but here we go. Oh my God. I am such a freaking mess. That's just... So I was right when I said I thought there might be a leak. Okay, I'm over this. This is a fail. Absolute fail. It's okay, I did that when I was little, so we don't need to do that one again. Okay, so you definitely don't need a kit for this experiment. First, I'm drawing with crayons all over a piece of paper, and then I made some watercolor with the inks, but you could probably just use watercolor paint. And I am painting over my crayon design. I think something more extreme is supposed to happen. It looks like it is supposed to resist the paint, but it doesn't really look like that's happening. It kind of is all blending. This one's not working. Not a big fan. I wanna try the glow worms. Okay, so opening up this calcium chloride that is provided for you. It comes with a nozzle cap so you can twist that on. Okay, so I'm squirting three fourths into the jar. Okay, so that's really bizarre to me because it doesn't even feel like enough to fill up the entire cup. So I basically used all of the solution and there are other experiments in here that you also need this, so I guess I'm not doing those. So now it says all you do is squirt some of this into this. So let's try it. Gently squirt some of the glow alginate into the chloride. but how much? Okay, so here is my worm. Now we have to turn the lights off to see what happens. Although I think we all know what's gonna happen. Where's the chair? Also, I stand corrected. In the directions, it says to take your glow worm out and then pour the chloride back into the bottle to use it for a future experiment. There you have it. All right, let's take this worm thing away. So for this fizzy dizzy experiment, they have you dropping a fizzy tab in both warm water and cool water to see what the change in temperature does to the fizzy tab. 
I really didn't see much change. I think one looks a little foamier, but this is kind of an underwhelming one. The fizzy tab is a little bit of color and some citric acid, by the way. Okay, now I'm gonna try colorful algae. Okay, squirt it in a thin layer at the bottom of the beaker. I don't know how much to do, but... Okay. Okay, now you add three or four drops of a colored ink. So, I made this orange. One, two, three, four. So we still have our chloride in here. You have to open that up. Okay, now with the plastic spoon, you have to mix this. So let's mix it. It makes funny noise. So now you have to scoop it out and it says let it plop into the calcium chloride. So let's wait while it plops. Oof. Plop. Okay, so now you just wait and it says check back in 15 minutes. So we'll look at that in a little. So it doesn't look like anything really happened to this. I don't know what it should like. I'm not sure if I did it wrong, but I followed the directions and this is what I got. I say this one was a fail. <laughs> So for this one, it comes with a little template. They want you to fill in the lines and color half of it black. Wait till it dries and then add the spin. And then you spin it around. I do not know if this is what I was supposed to see. It looks cool. I don't know if other colors were supposed to show up. I don't know really what should have happened. But the directions say spin and see what colors appear. I only see black and white. So... Is this one a fail? I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna try colorful quicksand. You need cornstarch for this one, a small bowl and disposable plate. Okay, fill the beaker halfway with water. Okay, and then you add some drops of ink into it. One, two, three. So I'm measuring out one third of cornstarch. So now all you do is pour your water and cornstarch into the bowl and mix it with your fingers. Oh, oh. <laughs> so it says to, to like, yeah, I ruined it. Well, I'm gonna have to try this one again. Also, you clearly don't really need anything in the kit besides the inks to do this colorful quicksand. So if you want to do it at home with maybe food dye and wear gloves, you could probably still do this. All right, let's do this one more time. Oh. <laughs> so if you're doing this at home, I wouldn't use one of these big measuring cups. I just didn't have any of the small ones. I would use an actual you know, one of the little scooper things because this was not really easy. I'm gonna first add the cornstarch. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna add my water. Okay, so those are exact amounts this time. Yeah, this is, this is, this is right. So I'm mixing it around. And you'll see that it's really goopy. Okay, so it says mix it around until you get all the clumps out. Okay, so there's no more clumps. Now it says to pour it on a disposable plate. I think this might be my favorite one. Okay, now it says just touch it, so. Okay, it says first to slowly press your fingers in it. Okay, nothing really happened. And now it says, put your whole hand in it. Okay, so the question here, is it a liquid or is it a solid? And it also says that the more you move it around, the thicker it gets. So I'm gonna try to like move it around a lot. It's definitely getting thicker. But is this fun? Oh no. Okay, it's pretty interesting. When you touch it really slow, it feels like liquid, but when you move your hands around in it really quickly, it gets really thick and feels like quicksand. So 
So this one says to fill a bowl with water and then you use a pencil and draw a flower shaped design on a piece of paper. You can cut it out or make your own template, whatever. And then you use the inks to color the flower. Once it's dry, you're gonna fold your flower together like this and then put it in the water and it should float, but mine sank. Ideally, the flower is supposed to bloom on top of the water, so that didn't happen for me. For this experiment, I have a bowl filled with water. I'm going to dye it green. Then I'm taking a paper clip and opening it up a little bit, letting it float on top, and we're gonna see what happens when you add soap to the water. What do you know? It sinks right away. Okay, now let's try ice fishing. So you fill a bowl almost to the top, add your ink. Again, this is just for color and fun. So the only thing from the kit that you're using here is the ink. So you could definitely do this experiment at home without the kit. So I'm gonna do one, two, whoops, three. Should I get on my shirt? So now you cut a piece of string. Okay, lay the string on the ice cube. Sprinkle it on. <gasps> cool. That's another favorite. That's really cool. I have to say, I think this is a really great gift for like, let's say it's Christmas and you're going to your girlfriend's cousin's brother's house and he has a little kid and you have to bring a gift. This is a great gift for that. Maybe when you don't know the kid really well, but you want them to think you're cool, definitely get this. I think this is a good one. So overall, I loved it. Definitely try it. I got mine on sale at Michael's. I think it was 11 bucks really good deal. So good job, Steam by Crayola. If you liked this video, please give it a If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can find me on Instagram at madcrafty or email me at info at madcrafty.com. Thanks for watching.